Next part of this lesson is subtraction of money. Subtraction of money. We subtract money as same as subtraction of numbers. Okay. And wherever need, there we have to redo. Listen again. We subtract money as same as we subtract numbers. And wherever needed, we redo. So see example. Subtract 579 rupees 65 paise from 744 rupees 50 paise. Okay. So here we have written 744 rupees 50 paise and 579 rupees 65 paise. Now we will start from right side. Now here we do not have enough paise. So here we have to remove. So we borrow more. From five. So here we make four and here we come ten. Ten minus five, five. Now we cannot subtract six from four. So we have to read. We borrow one. Fourteen minus six, eight. We cannot subtract nine from three. So again we read. So here thirteen we come and here three. Thirteen minus nine, four. Okay, we cannot subtract 7 from 3. So we read. So here we come 30. Here 6. 30 minus 7, 6. And 6 minus 5, 1. In this way, by subtracting 579.65 from 744.50, means we have to subtract 579.65 passes from 744 rupees 50 paise we get here answer 164 rupees 85 paise understood how to subtract it is now we will solve exercise 4 so see first question subtract 31 rupees 25 paise from 50 rupees ok first we arrange rupees and paise in column we separate by putting the top rupees and paise column now we start from right. Here no enough paise. 0, 0, 0. So we have to read. We borrow 1 from here. So here become 4. And this 0 become 10. Again we borrow from 10. Here remain 9. Here become 10. We borrow 1 from 10. Here remain 9. And here become Now we subtract 5 from 10. 10 minus 5, 5. 9 minus 2, 7. 9 minus 1, 8. And 4 minus 3, 1. So here we subtract 31 rupees 25 by say from 50 rupees. We get here as a 80 rupees 75 pesos. Okay, next example. 19 rupees 75 paise from 23 rupees 85 paise. We subtract 19 rupees 75 paise from 23 rupees 85 paise. So here we arrange rupees and paise in column. We separate it by putting the dot. Now we start from right side. 5 minus 5, 0. 8 minus 7, 1. Put the dot. Now from 3 we cannot subtract 9. So we read it. We borrow 1. Here 1. And this 3 become 30. Now subtract 9 from 30. 30 minus 9. 4. 1 minus 1. 0. In this way by subtracting 19 rupees 75 paise from 23 rupees 85 paise. We get answer 4 rupees 10 paise. Okay, next example. See now, next example. C. Subtract rupees 137.90 paise from 168 rupees 80 First, we arrange rupees and paise in column by separating rupees and paise by putting the dot. Now we start from right side. 0 minus 0. 0. 
we cannot subtract 9 from 8. So we read it. We borrow 1. So here we make 7 and we have 8 become 8. 18 minus 9. 9. Here put the dot. 7 minus 7. 0. 6 minus 3. 3. And 1 minus 1. 0. So in this way by subtracting 137 rupees 90 pesos from 168 rupees 80 pesos we get the answer 30 rupees 90 pesos. Okay. Example D. Subtract 28 rupees 50 pesos from 100 rupees. Here we arrange rupees and pesos column separately by putting the dot. Okay. Now we start from 1. But here we have no enough. Everyone here? 0, 0, 0, 0. So we have to remove. So we borrow 1. So here we make 0. And this 0 becomes 10. Now again we borrow 1. So here we make 9. And here we become 10. Again we borrow 1. Here we make 9. And here we become 10. 0 minus 0. 0. 10 minus 5. 5. Put the dot. 9 minus 8. 1. 9 minus 2. 7. 0. In this way, by subtracting 28 rupees 50 pesos from 100 rupees, we get here answer 71 rupees 50 pesos. Okay. Next example E. Subtract 280 rupees 25 pesos from 433 rupees 75 pesos. Here we arrange rupees and pesos column by putting the dot. We separate. Now we start from right. 5 minus 5, 0. 7 minus 2, 5. Put the dot. 3 minus 0, 3. We cannot subtract 8 from 2. So we have to read it. We borrow here. And here we become 30. 13 minus 8, 5. 3 minus 2, 1. So here we subtract 280 rupees 25 pesos from 433 rupees 75 pesos. And here we get answer 153 rupees 50 pesos. So understood. Wherever needed, we remove and subtract. We get answer. Next example, subtract rupees 690 rupees from 970 rupees. So here we arrange rupees and pesos column by putting the dot. Now we subtract from 1. 0 minus 0. 0 minus 0. Now we cannot subtract 5 from 0. So we have to read the power of 1. So we have to become 10. 10 minus 5, 5. We cannot subtract 9 from 6. So we have to read. 16 minus 9, 7. And 8 minus 6, 2. In this way, by subtracting 690 rupees from 970 rupees, we get here answer 275 rupees. Understood? How we subtract money. So if you observe, you came to know that subtraction of money is same as subtraction of number. Wherever we get, we have to read. Okay. Next word problem. Look here. Archana bought you bought a bottle for rupees 145 rupees 50 pesos. She gave 200 rupees to the shopkeeper. How much money did she get back? Listen again. Once again, read one problem carefully. Arjuna bought a water bottle for 145 rupees 50 pesos. She gave 200 rupees to the shopkeeper. How much money did she get back? Look here. Here, she purchased, she bought a water bottle for rupees 145 rupees 50 pesos. And she gave the shopkeeper 200 rupees. Then how much money did she get back? 
Okay, so here we have to subtract 145 rupees 50 pence from 200. So look here, here I have arranged rupees and pence in column, separate column by putting the dot. Okay, by putting dot, we separate rupees and pence column. Now we subtract it. Okay, so look here. First, we start from prime side. 0 minus 0. 0. Now here we cannot subtract 5 from 0. So we have to review. But here also 0. Then here also 0. So we have to review. We have to borrow from 2. So here remain 1. And this 0 become 10. Again we borrow from 10. So here remain 9. And here become 10. We borrow from here 10. Here remain 9 and here 0 become 10. Now we subtract 5 from 10. 10 minus 5, 5. Here put the dot. Now subtract 5 from 9. 9 minus 5, 4. 9 minus 4, 5. And 1 minus 1, 0. In this way by subtracting 145 rupees 50 paise from rupees 200. Okay. We get here answer 54 rupees 50 paise. This city of shopkeeper 200 rupees and she bought bottle for rupees 145 paise 50. And how much money she did get, get back? So she bought back rupees 54 50 paise. She got back 54 rupees 50 pence. So here the answer will be understood. See, got back 54 rupees 50 pence. Third word problem. The cost of a water bottle and tiffin box together is 255 rupees 50 pence. Find the cost of water bottle if the tiffin box cost is 95 rupees 50 pence. Look here again. The cost of a water bottle and tiffin box together is 255 rupees 50 pence. Together the demand. Find the cost of water bottle if tiffin box cost is 95 rupees 50 pence. To find the cost of water bottle, we have to subtract cost of tiffin box from together. Means here we have to subtract 95 rupees 50 pesos from 255 rupees 50 pesos. Okay. So here I arrange rupees and pesos in column by separate column by putting the dot. Now we will subtract from the right side. 0 minus 0. 0. 5 minus 5. 0. Put the here dot. Then 5 minus 5. 0. Now from 9, from 5 we cannot subtract 9, so we have to read. You borrow 1. So here we have 1 and this 5 becomes 15. Now subtract 9 from 15. 15 minus 9, 6 and 1 remain. In this way by subtracting 95 rupees 50 pesos from 255 rupees 50 pesos, we get here answer 160 rupees. So here we have to find the cost of water bottle and we get cost of water bottle by subtracting cost of total money and cost of tipping box. Yes, here we subtract cost of tipping box from total money and we get cost of water bottle is 160. So we write the answer cost of water bottle is rupees 160. This way here I have shown how to subtract money. So if you observe this then you came to know that subtraction of money is same as subtraction of number. Wherever needed we have to review. Okay.